can you say daddy plays video games? Daddy's training the drinks. All right, guys, so if you're going to run a ballistic class knife, this is what I like to run. Uh, ballistic knife, of course, I don't have it diamond yet, so I like to look pretty with my cherry blossoms. Uh, hardline lightweight. Hardline, of course, you get your kill streaks faster, lightweight. Scavenger fast hands. Uh, tactical mass. You want to keep going. You don't want anything to be able to stop you. Uh, C4 is my tactical. Sometimes you guys have seen I like to throw down the bouncing Betty instead. And a concussion grenade. I'm sorry, tactical, just so we can slow them down. Hey guys, now when you are using the ballistic knife, there's a few things to keep in mind, the, the do's and don'ts of the ballistic knife, in my opinion, when I'm using it. Uh, the biggest do is make sure you're having fun. The other thing you just saw here is I wanted to demonstrate there is the arc. There is an arc if you're shooting it at a long distance. Even at a medium distance, there's still a bit of an arc uh, to these shots. The second do that you want to make sure is snaking. Now, you guys heard the term, like, serpentine, serpentine, you know, when you're running away from something. It's the same thing when you're approaching somebody, when you're utilizing the combat knife or, or the ballistic knife. And pretty much any melee knife, probably even in advanced warfare, when you're using the knife, you're going to want to approach in this way is using the dot, the boost left and right. But in, in Black Ops 2, I'm always snaking. Now, I have, like, hundreds of backstab medals because when I see right here, boom. You know, when I'm going to go kill a guy, even if they come through the door, which you'll see later on in this video, someone comes through the door at me, I snake, I, I try to whip around behind him because he has a shotgun and you never want to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. See, I mean, this is just a stupid situation for me to be in. I shouldn't have gone that way. I easily got pinched and the people outranged me very, very quickly. Now, unless you're some, you know, god with a ballistic knife or you're just having a really fun on night, you're probably not going to get both these people. Now, this is a, a lucky, you know, lucky break for this guy stunned shooting me at the shotgun but the big do big do yeah I, I we'll go with that the big do when you're using the the ballistic knife is always you're going to want to run in a snake formation you're always you never or, sorry you never want to run full at a guy see he i saw him coming at me and i'm like uh-uh he had a shotgun i wasn't going to go through that one door that he could cover the entire blast radius of that shotgun I'm not taking into account the uh, the trajectory here when I was trying to get that guy because remember guys, it shoots in an arc. And so when you're on, you want to make sure you're always trying to get people stabbing them in the back and you want to go ahead and make sure that you're cognizant of that arc. Now, finally right here, you just saw when I do get in close range like that, I always fire first and then I melee second. I'm always firing first, melee second because you never know, you might get that lucky just that lucky shot right when they come through the door or something like that that you're able to fire and pick them off before you have to lunge because when you lunge there's an animation and that you, it stops you or it lunges you past them or might even disorient you where you're at in the room so you want to be very cognizant of that that's pretty much you know I'm trying to think of these things on the fly I've been actually thinking about these things all day like oh how do, it's it's tough to just sit and think how do you do this? Because the ballistic knife to me comes very, very natural. So it's just kind of a natural thing to me. For me, when I'm using WASD, I'm either always mashing W and A or W and D. I'm never, I'm rarely ever running in like a straight line. I'm, I'm typically moving to the left or moving to the right or snaking around or something like that. So make sure that you're snaking around, you're always moving, serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. And you, whenever you uh, are coming through a doorway or whenever you get in some close range, you fire your knife first and then you stab second. Make sure also when you're stabbing, try to stab around them as much as possible. Again, never run in a straight line at somebody. This is stupid. Watch me. I'm, I'm, uh, 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 nope, 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 not going to do it. Not going to do it. Uh, also, one of the biggest things when you see, I, I do this stupidly a lot on this map. And, and I'm not cutting this, guys. I don't want to, like, cut together, like, my amazing shots. Because I want you guys to see, like, when I play ballistic knives, I would say... Maybe 30% of the time, I'll get a game like, you know, Ballistic Dogs, but the other 70%, I typically am going like a 1-to-1 one one KD, maybe a 2-0 two, two KD seat right there, circle around him in the back, a 2-0 KD. And so when you're playing, just know that you're going in to have fun. Try to improve your melee skills. Don't expect to be this, like, 
you know, 8 to 1 KD or something like that. Just make sure you guys are having fun and, and just doing your best. That's the important thing. I hope these little tips help. I'm a bit kind of truncated in, in the explanation. I'm actually watching the gameplay, talking, nothing is scripted out. Again, it is kind of difficult to kind of think about something you do intrinsically. Uh, but here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an absolutely wonderful night. It, have an Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to check out other videos. Like, subscribe, comment. There's a Facebook and a Twitter link there if you want to go ahead and follow me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Good night, Daddy.